Hello and welcome back to Saints Row. We're doing some more missions today, so let's go ahead and get it started. Take out those dirty canales. The exciting cliffhanger we had last time. Let's do it. Thanks, I'll swing by to pick that up. Just the guy I was looking for. Samson's got the truck all patched up. I'm gonna go- We got a problem, Dex. What's going on? The Los Carnales are attacking- It's not the Los Carnales. Jesus, what's wrong with you? Dex, they attacking the row. What happened? Angelo and his boys came out of nowhere. They fucked us up pretty hard, but it finally looked like we had Angelo pinned down. Hola, mi amigo. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Gracias, Victor. De nada. Let's get back to Hector. Sí, pero primero vamos a golpear a Freckle Bitches. <laughs> cool. I'm buying. So they left. Angelo and Victor did, but there was a lot of LC still out there. All right, let's split up. The road's a big place. We gotta make sure we smoke all those motherfuckers. Okay. Kill all Carnalis invaders. Every red, red square on our map is a Carnalis. We gotta take them all out. You'll see that a couple of them are moving. Those are canales and cars. But there are a couple spots where a few guys are camped out. I'll still go to those spots there. Now you can see our GPS really doesn't know what it's talking about. It wants to go all the way to the highway. But we can actually just turn around and go this way. Uh, so this is a pretty fun mission. It gets pretty insane. You really get the feeling that you're in an all-out gang battle. Uh, I, you know, being a master tactician. There's some guys caging my homies, so I come from behind, take him out. There's a guy on the stairs spamming Molotovs. You can see, I'm not really sure how he's managed to not burn himself up by now. I think he might have detected that I'm here and is trying to throw them at me, but the walls are too high and it's at a weird angle. Somehow he's still alive. He starts throwing stuff at my homies now. I'm just gonna have to come around and face him from the front and hopefully he won't throw one at me. Looks like he stopped paying attention. Lots of fire everywhere. Lots of shooting. It's my guys. There's Saints, there's Canales. You don't take this guy long. It's good to have a homie when there's a lot of bad guys. It's good to have around. You can see the homies' AI is pretty good. But they have a crippling disability where they can't go around doors. So I just gotta close it for him. There he goes. Alright, let's take out the other encampment of stationary Carnalis before we go after these mobile roaming guys. Uh, you can see those squares are just driving around. But there's some guys staked out over here by the water. So let's go take them out. So you see there's, there's the red squares, but there's also just Carnalis everywhere get pretty chaotic and it's also a little harder to find homies it's not as many saints rounds you might think oh I think that was a rocket launcher that's definitely a rocket launcher let's play it safe go over here try to get out of range nope we're not out of range oh so much for my homie I don't really have time I want those guys shooting rockets at us actually the rocket launcher has a little bit of reload. Oh, Jesus. Has a little reload time. Also, I think the AI does not want to kill himself. But. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. That was a little stressful. See, the other guy's taking pot shots at me the whole time, too. So my health is getting loud. So we can take his rocket launcher and hopefully not die. See that there's a tiny little wall by the upper sidewalk that you can't run over. You have to jump over it. Which is frustrating. So I'm uh, re recharging my health right now. Let's see, once the heartbeat slows down, starts so filling back up. So fortunately, I was able to get in a spot where they couldn't get at me. Pretty good cover, crouching. 
Just gonna let it go up a little more. One of those cards is going by with a helpful giant red arrow. Again, that tiny little wall is driving me nuts. This tiny little wall, just run over it. The stairs are higher than that tiny little wall was. Oh well. We gotta get a new ride to chase down these cars. I think this truck, hired by Big Package Shipping Company, will do just fine. So the thing with chasing down these cars is that they're all on a preset route. They just go in the same route in circles. So you can just find a spot and wait, or you can try to predict where they're going to go and try to catch them and cut them off. And really, they're all kind of spread out right now. It's kind of hard to see which way they're going. So I'm just going to keep driving, see how their positions change. So maybe we can intercept them. You can also just try to drive after them on your GPS. It gives you a general idea of where they are, though not the exact street. And that work actually works out pretty well. See that some guys are coming down this road, so let's see if we can cut them off there. Do the fancy turning. You can see that the van is like being big a little slower. And still handles pretty well. As long as you use the uh, handbrake. Of course. Of course. Cruising around. There's two guys coming right down here. The nice thing is, once you get out of the car, they'll stop and get out of the car too. But I'm getting tired of using shotgun. Uh, I may or may not have bought a rocket launcher and maxed out the ammo before this mission started. Tee hee hee. Let's get a new car though. The van is kind of bringing me down. See that GPS is still active for where we placed it. Because we haven't gone there yet. But we're going to go around and take out this other car. I don't know, man. Still lots of Carnalis around. They're just going to keep respawning and coming after you until you complete the mission. So it's good to get rid of these cards as soon as you can. Unlucky press. It's turning right at us. That rocket launcher strategy seemed to work out pretty well. Let's do that one again. And it looks pretty cool. See, Carnalis spawning right in front of me. Fortunately, this helpful cop gonna go attack. Thank you, officer. They just started shooting at me. I don't have no idea why. <laughs> Sometimes the cops can help you out unintentionally. All right, just one car left. We gotta go over to the side of the map where he is. Um, I get a little turned around and lost here because I don't see the wall that these fences are on, making it impossible to climb over until just now. So I'm freaking about wasting everyone's time. And I see the car there. You see that the GPS. A little confused about where we want to go, so let's help it out. Uh, we actually want to go over here, but it doesn't really see this driveway here where we can just cut across, so it tells us to do a crazy route. That's fine, the GPS does pretty well. And look, it's the last car, it's already smoking, it must have been crashing stuff as we drive around. We don't need a shock, we don't need a rocket launcher. One shotgun to the engine block sets them all on fire. And that's that mission. And that was close around to patrol. So now the mission is over. Uh, so the canalis will now ignore us. But you know that was kind of a tough one for me. I died actually in the first try through. So I still have some aggression to take out. If you have the baseball bat, why not? You know. All right. So the other thing we're doing today is a pushback. Uh, it's when you already own a neighborhood and the gang that you took it from. Tries to take it back. The Carnalis are tearing Southern Cross apart. You gotta get over here and stop them. And so you just go to the hood, and as soon as you enter the hood, you'll see where all the lieutenants are. You just need to track them down and kill them, and you get the territory back. Just and you actually get respect when you do the pushbacks too, so it's a good idea to do them. And you're not really obligated. You're not really obligated to do them as soon as you get the phone call, but if you put it off. Whenever you're in that neighborhood, people always be attacking you. And you see that during these pushbacks, there's a lot of guys. It can be tricky to do with only one homie, especially in a wide open area like this, where they just keep spawning and spawning. The best thing to do with the pushbacks is to track down the lieutenants and take them out as quickly as you can before more and more guys come after you. You see, they took out my homie pretty quickly. Fortunately, I have plenty of 40s in my coat, I guess. And so I'm able to revive him endlessly. See his health going down pretty rapidly there. Again, 
try to save him, but unfortunately I forgot about their crippling disability, and I didn't really have time to help him out, so I just gotta go. I'm sorry. I hope you'll forgive me in the next world, my friend. Alright, three more lieutenants to take out. We just gotta get over there. Things are getting kinda crazy with cars and guns and everything, and loud rap music blaring. Sounds like one of my wheels is flat too. I'm doing okay. Alright, gotta go in through here, to this parking garage. See the countdown for our homie dying. Oh, he's gone. Once you get too far away from your homie, it just gives up. You can see that the problem with this place is that half of this parking garage is outside. This is barely outside of the area, so you get that message every time I run up the ramp, which is kind of annoying. But we don't have too much longer to go, so it's not too bad. That's why I'm just going to take out this car here because it's bugging me. And again, with this kind of Alice and their love for alternative music, I don't know. So it's weird because you can get tons of guys coming after you, and then you can get all the way up here and just have this little shooting range. One, two, three. Easy. And so that's this video. Thanks for watching. So you get some respect. See you next time. I'm not- ah!